Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants. Today we are taking a look at Doctor Who, The Edge of Time. Now first of all, a bit of an apology, I'm a little bit late picking up on this. Uh, the key was actually given to me by Ian from Maze Theory, so a massive thank you to Ian from Maze Theory for providing me an opportunity to take a look at the game. But they actually provided me the key last week. It arrived on Monday, I was hoping it would arrive early morning so I'd have a chance to do it before I went away for my little trip with my dad, but unfortunately it didn't, so it's had to wait until I got back. So thank you again to Ian, but apologies if the video is a little later than you would have uh, liked. So, Doctor Who, Edge of Time. Am I a Doctor Who fan? No, not really. So, I am actually quite excited about this, just because it's also like a hugely polished game. It's always nice to see anything, any VR game or experience which, which utilizes its source material well. And from what I've seen, although as I said, I'm not an expert, it does seem to do that, so I'm quite excited about it. As I said, not a Doctor Who fan, it's not that I dislike it, it's just that I don't really watch it. So I don't really know much about the new Doctor Who's, uh, Jodie Whittaker I know is the newest one, but I haven't seen any of the new series, uh, apart from odd bits here and there when I just flicked through past it on TV. So, I'm coming at this from a very noob perspective, so it could be quite interesting to see how much of it I pick up on, if there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. Like, I know the general key concepts, I think. So this looks pretty cool. So options-wise, uh, I turned on smooth walking and I turned on smooth rotation. Which is supposed to be on fast. That doesn't seem very fast though, does it? But that does that is what it says is the fastest setting. Same with the walking as well. Maybe I'll have to check that in a minute because it does seem rather slow to me. And I also, the resolution scaling for some reason started at... Uh, Rosy Red's detergent. Started at 70%, so I bumped that up to 100. Wakey, wakey, we've got a universe to save. Says something. That speaker up there, I guess. Don't worry, you're going to be okay. Good. All right, full disclosure. I can't absolutely guarantee that, but I can guarantee... It's going it's down, downhill a little bit. Amazing day of your life. Right, I better fill you in on what's going on. Please do. Yeah, so we can't get out. We are stuck in this laundrette. So I guess... Nope. Ah, now we can use the phone. No, we can't. Oh, left hand worked. Okay. Bad news, yep. Sounds like bad news. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. I could talk to you using local tech, and believe you me, I need to keep in touch because sorry about this. You're the only one who can help me save the universe. You're welcome. And oh yeah. Ooh. And it all went wrong. It all went very wrong. Wow, okay. It all went wrong and very creepy. So you in the eye. Nasty and dangerous, but you better get used to them. Long story short, imagine the infrastructure of time and space is a hard drive, and all living matter, everything that ever was or will be, is software. Well, uh -huh. someone's unleashed a virus that's attacking the hard drive and the software, meaning reality itself is being hacked, wiped, degraded. This reality virus is corrupting the past, present, and future. Okay. Now, I need you to check out the washing machines. And when you do, please, don't freak out. Oh no, I saw that already, yeah. Are these the no those are the dryers okay not the dryers the washing machines but these all look empty mm-hmm so about finding there's a little sweet spot where you can actually grab onto it it seems to be a slightly small sweet spot and not quite where you'd expect it to be There's nothing in the washing machines. There's nothing in the washing machines, but you don't mean the washing machine, do you? You mean the dryers. Those creatures are hydrogels. Vicious amphibians, sometimes 
Okay. Why are they in the dryers? Yeah, will do. I'm gonna guess. Don't do something. Okay, I'm just gonna press. Oh, there we go. Settings. Turn type smooth. Speed of rotation high. Walk speed. Fast. That is the slowest rotation I think I've ever seen in my life. So whatever you do, don't... Don't do something. Well, let's get... This fixed. Can I close the door? Yeah, I feel better with the door closed. Temperature, we can dial up, can we? It moved, but not very much. As I was being taken, I managed a bit of trans magicery pokery. I popped a little present in the safe for you. But before you ask, I can't send anything else. Not from here. Anyway, open the safe, grab your present, and use it to unlock the door. I like how many things are uh, interactable. That's always nice. It's always frustrating going into a VR world and everything's just static and you can't touch anything. A little TARDIS model. Numbers that meant something to him. 1027? Seem weird if it's 1027 just because that's written there, right? I'll give it a go. Well, how do I. Oh! I don't know which button's pressing it. We could really do with a hand from Yaz, Ryan, and Graham right about now. They're pretty good at following clues and finding things. I have no idea because it doesn't do the. Uh, like even the Oculus finger out. I'll explain more later. It's very hard to, uh... I'm trying to hit one at the moment. Still trying to hit one. Oh, and that's going to be impossible to actually use. I don't know if you can see there, but the thumb seems to be slightly... But, it, I mean... I'm hitting it in the same place, and it's doing a different set of numbers. It got down to zero somehow, then. Yeah, okay, that's going to be very awkward, then. Um, I guess we'll get back to that in a minute, shall we? A set of numbers which mean something to the manager. Um, ooh. Uh, nothing that's obvious on there. Nothing there. I guess it's got to be that 1027. Oh, was it going to let me grab that or is that too far away? Doesn't seem to want to let me grab it. Then again, doesn't seem to want to let me close that door up again either. So 1027 is still my best guess. It's the only thing that really stands out. It's written in red. On the desk. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to grab that bit of paper. Because I can't. Or open that drawer. So it has to be, I mean, I'm going to try and give 1027 a go. But they're busy on secret missions for me at the moment. Okay. You can't see me, but I'm tapping the side of my nose. How did that get to three? I'll explain more later. 
This is going to be so awkward. Oh, no. Oh. How is that a one? How was that a one? How was that a... Okay, I don't know if this is an index thing, so I am running this on the index. How was that a zero? But I have no idea. Like, see where my hand is, and it got 7548. Yeah, I've got no idea how I'm going to get a combination on this. I might need a moment. Bear with me. Okay, I just watched someone else do this on YouTube. Apologies, I didn't get the guy's name. Uh, it looked like when he had the combination, it didn't really matter what he pressed. It, it just did it for him. So I think that's what's going on. I think it's just sort of randomizing it. So we do need to find the two numbers. I saw one of them was on... So I just sort of cheat a little bit. Yeah. Look what I found. It's you back in 83. What a year that was. So is it on other pictures? I'm guessing it has to be really. There's nothing else in here. There is there. Ah, so she said the office. It's got to be in here somewhere. The turn speed is so slow. It's so frustrating to use. The walk speed I've just about got used to. But the turn speed is... I've looked at all the photos here, haven't I? Oh, hello. Try to open the safe using 14. 1483. Time for a new broom. Thanks for all your hard work at Coal Hill School. Good luck with the handwriting. Laundrette. <laughs> Obviously laundrette. So now I think... Yeah, you don't need to actually hit the buttons, which is kind of nice if you're having trouble getting it, but also kind of awkward. My sonic screwdriver, so don't lose it. Actually, I'll show you a nifty little trick to keep it safe when you're not using it. So we've got a sonic screwdriver to get us out of any jams. There's nothing else in there that I can pick up by the look of it. Uh, move your sonic screwdriver to your waist and press trigger button to holster. Super handy, that. Grab yeah. the sonic, then. Word of warning, the Hydrox are on the verge of breaking out, so you better get a move on. You need to unlock the door using the Sonic. Well, that seems quite cool. Oh, I can't get any closer to it, though. I can't even physically walk closer to it in my room. Try the back door. See if you can get out. There we go. Well, this is creepy. This is creepy. What is going on over here? Sorry to interrupt. Do me a favor, would you? Hold this old radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's out in the open. Thanks. Look. I can't move the aerial, and you sound exactly the same. We've got to get you out of there as fast as we can. So, you've got to knock up a nifty little device that'll help you. The sky it. looks cool. You're going to need three things. Looks proper First, cool. The radio I'm speaking to you through. We yep. Got that. You'll also need a power source. Hello. A battery and something to transmit a signal. A satellite dish would do. Shall I also be avoiding the literal flying saucer? A battery and a satellite. I don't know if she knows where I am, but I'm basically in a small rubbish dump. Find those items and put them on the work. Ah, a battery in the car? Oh, why can't I get any closer? I mean, it can't be in there then, because again, that's as close as it lets my character model go. And if I try and physically step towards it, there's that annoying thing where you move backwards. Well, I don't really know then. That was my, uh, that's my best plan. That's my only plan. I'm not sure there is. Oh, there is. Didn't know the Sonic screwdriver had that sort of range. That is not working as I anticipated. Try finding a car battery. That should do the trick. She says car battery. 
Well, yeah, I assumed car battery. Am I not supposed to... Oh. And now I can move closer to it that it's been opened. That is so weird. So weird. But okay. We got there. Now we need to get closer to this. Do we need to get closer? Oh. Oh, no. I just need to aim in the wrong place. Yeah. So I need to aim... You've just got to get one like, more at that wall there. Now I wonder if that is to do with the valve's index orientation of the control as compared to others. Am I? Oh, I am. Hello? Nope. That's not good. Yep. Now, obviously, I recognize that particular vocal pattern. So, what do I do now? Doesn't look like I'm heading back in. Do I just give it a. Yeah. Just hold it on there for a little bit. Is that enough, or do I need to wait for it to solidify? No, I can't go to it yet. Do I need to sonic the... Oh, that seemed to work. Don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, knock, knock, knock. Oh, it's a push door. And obviously, famously bigger on the inside. I'm here. Escape from the laundrette, mate. That's what I call a clean getaway. It did take me a second to click what she meant then, but that was good. It sounds fun. All right, yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, some of the, it's a little bit. You're never too sure if it's an index thing or if it's just general, but the uh, trying to point at stuff with the controller seems to be a little bit awkward. Oh, full-on VR intro screen. That is cool. That is really... So they'll make you walk at the speed of half a snail. Literally a snail who's been cut in half. That's how fast you can walk. But it'll throw you through a wormhole tube at about 400 miles an hour. That's a really odd decision to limit your speed, but then do this. <laughs> and then, yeah, the speed is the other thing, which is really just... It's fine. I mean, I, I guess the reason is is a lot of Doctor Who fans may not have experienced VR before. It might be one of their first experiences. So they're going to want to make sure that it's, you know, suitable for them. That it's not going to just cause them to immediately fall over and vomit. But it, I always think that a VR game should have options for players who are more experienced with VR. And I can't help but think that maybe those speed options are broken or misconfigured or something. Because that just doesn't seem very fast. Like, this is the fastest walking speed. Apparently so. Good restaurant there, I heard. Of course. Me. Is that Earth? Not the moon. That's pretty cool. 
program that's going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Okay, get back to that the is cool. What needs to be done. I like that. I like that a lot. The TARDIS has switched to autopilot mode. Don't take it personally. Just doesn't know you yet. But there's Why do I take it personally? Pilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it and I'll guide you through what you need to do. Ready? Yep. Okay. As a wise man once said, Alonzi! Okay. What just happened then? I didn't do anything. I can't. Never mind. Have another go. I can't grab this one. Do you see it come up then again there? It has a very specific place you can grab it again. What did you do that for? Give it another go. Where is it? Oh. There we go. Got there in the end. This should help locate it. Apparently that's all we needed to do. There's the time crystal. I have found... Oh. This is going to be the awkward one again, isn't it? Oh, I just cannot find where it wants me to... Who wants me to grab that? And this is really hard to twist this time. <laughs> Honestly, it's so hard to grab some of these things. Like, I can grab that, but I can't really twist it very easily. You can see that come up to flash, but it's so... Yeah, it's not... Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. It's, a, it's very awkward. It's very awkward. Oh, I had it then. This thing here is so hard. There, so you need to sort of do it there, okay. So I think this isn't actually being awkward to turn, I think you just can't turn it until that comes up. Oh, come on now, I had it perfect just now. Oh god, I got so close. Okay, this time... This time... Oh, come on now! Oh, it's getting a little frustrating now, let's be honest. So I'm going to try and hold that hand there. And then it's going to get really awkward to get again, even though I had it perfect just now. Oh, come on now. This is getting silly. Look how easy I can seem to be able to get it when it's not actually ticking down. Well, I can't get it now. There we go. All right, then. I'm really not. This is my PB, but you're knocking at the door. Well, you're approaching the porch. Drive me. Whatever. In the same city, at least, is what we're saying. Doing it again? Yeah, these things often come in threes. Oh, 
Nope. Nope, nowhere near. So it's that one, that one, and then this one or this one? This one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five? Yeah! So I think you'll put your hand right over it. I think that's what it is. I think it does it by your palm more than your where well, you'd expect with your fingers. Okay, is this a good this is a good thing, right? I'm impressed. Good? We've landed on Lucia Minor. Okay. Once you step outside the TARDIS, I won't be able to communicate with you. Oh there you are. Hello. At least not this time. The local auto defenses won't allow it. I have a feeling you won't be on your own for long, though. But you've got to get a shift on. With the reality virus and all the time glitches, nothing is stable. It is not. Remember, get that first time crystal back to the TARDIS. Without it, I'll be trapped forever, and the universe is toast. That's probably the more important part of this, isn't it? You know, the universe will be destroyed. Rather than, ah, the dog's just trapped. Oh, so it's just going to automatically load? Okay. We'll have to walk out of the TARDIS ourselves. Oh, here we go. Looks like a beautiful morning. What did you call it? Lucia Minor? Something like that? Lovely little butterflies. It seems like a very happy place. I like this. I'd like to move a bit faster, but there we go. I'll survive. What's this over here? Why is it on a rock? Oh my days! Hello. It really is you. Ah, I couldn't wait to see you again. Oh, thanks. I've got to be quick because there's a time glitch like imminent. So just listen to me. You're on Lucia Mine. Yep. Everyone thinks everything is okay, but it's not. It's not. The glitch that's about to happen will change everything. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. But you can't help. You have to help. Yep, I will. I don't get to keep this. Can't even drop it. Can't even drop it. If I put it back where it was. Nope. Oh, sorry. It's just a, a thing we keep now. It's just a thing we keep. Okay. Okay, then. Moving on. Is that like a weird plant there? Is that some sort of speaker or camera or something? Or a mushroom? Hmm. Yeah, I thought that'd happen there, because that'll clear the path, won't it? Yes, indeed. You're here. At last. I'm Emma, in case you were ever going to get around to asking. And if you want some free advice... Three big moon. Get the hell out of there. Like That's one of the things. Well, I can't grab it, so it's not important. Something's made a bit of a meal of this tent, isn't it? Doesn't seem like we can open it, though. The fire's gone out, of course. It's really dark, isn't it? Yeah. Probably use some light. Go on, then. Can't do anything with that. Do I use this on the fire? Where's it gone? Check out that box. Maybe the people camping here left something useful. Oh, use it on the box. Is that useful? Oh, I see a torch. I really didn't figure that was a torch for some reason. So we still can't open the tent? Can I use the... Nope. 
So I guess we'll move on. There are two routes. There's a... a le I wasn't turning then. That turned on itself. A left and a right. Now, I think it wants us to go left. Traditionally, I would go left, but I think it wants us to go left because that's where the box is. So we're going to actually go right first. Take a look around here. Now, it looks like I might loop back to the same place anyway. All right. Feel good about yourselves, do you now, you silly bats? There wasn't a actual, uh, no, I've seen if there was a teleport movement option. Because I think I would have gone with it, because uh, if it was faster, I would have much appreciated it. Ah, so now I'm feeling a little bit lost. Ah, oh, that's, that's the light source. With the tent, I'm going to have to go check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Those campers were engineers. I think yeah, they okay. The so we'll just head over here to the left. If anything tries to eat you on the way, well, don't say I didn't warn you. No, you were very clear that this is a nasty place, don't worry. I won't blame you for my impending death. Not a fan of that. Hello? Hello, creepy creature with red eyes. Definitely not a fan of that either. Many things. Many things I'm not a fan of. Well, again, it's left or right. I think it wants us to go right, because that's A, where the creepy creature didn't go, and also where the lights are. So I guess... Can we pick this up? No, can we... Can't do anything with it. So let's go into this cave first, shall we? Nope. That's, uh... It's not creepy. That's fine. That's reasonable. This is all fine. See ya, buddy. Okay. Well, not much of a cave, is it? It's just more of a tunnel. So I guess we should head back and go in the other cave, shouldn't we? Is he still up there? Yep. Yes, he is. All right, then, well, you stay where you are. That's fine. That's fine. Everything is fine. So let's have a look in here instead, then. At a rather glacial pace. Oh, not much. Again, that rotation drift was not me. And can't pick any of these things up, so I guess they're not important. There's not another box we can open either. So I guess... That's the end of that cave. So we can either head through this one or go over to the right there. I'm assuming this one on the right. We'll actually loop back. Didn't figure this was going to be a... Like a slightly horror game sort of feel to it. Was not expecting that, so that's lovely. That's lovely. Well, that's lovely. He's still up there, hoping I go underneath the uh, underpass, but I haven't. I've outfoxed him. Yeah, so this is where that comes through, so that's fine. And so I guess we'll head this way. I do kind of wish in a game where, uh, where the walk speed is so slow that there weren't alternate things to check where there's nothing. It would have been fine if there are little secrets hidden around every corner. Maybe you wouldn't mind going at this speed, but... Uh... Huh. 
Huh. Huh. So red, red. And there's an. Yeah, no, I know. I just don't know which one. There are four reds, but there's only. There's a blue, 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 blue. But yeah, there are. Oh no, the green just loops up there. Okay. The plugs need to be placed in the right sockets. So do I just. So it can't be that one, because the red and the blue are in the same location, so those two don't work. Same with that one, only one of these three can be correct. Do they have any other matching things to rule them out? No, they don't, do they, really? No. But only one of those can be correct because the top left has got a different thing in each one. But we don't know which one. Has to be one of them. Huh. Huh. Well, now I don't know. Now I don't know. Use that diagram to help you find the right Yeah, no, I can see the diagram, thank you. I just not sure. I guess we'll do these two here then, right? Yeah? Why not? So green top left to that one over there. And then red. is there and then it goes down to the one that one's in isn't it yeah that goes down to there and then the blue Ooh. one's down there and one is there oh thought I was thought I was oh I see Oh, because we're doing the one with the triangle, it's the triangle one. So we've actually got those ones in the right place. So that green needs to move down to there. No, down another one. Uh, the red needs to go over to the corner. And the blue needs to go one, two, one. There. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Be Triangle. Triangle. Green goes from there. Oh, why is blue down there? Our oh, blue's in the wrong place. Hello. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. I don't normally dish out compliments, but you're a lot smarter than you look. Thanks, I think. And what do we have over here? Ah, one of those fell, didn't it, by the, uh... Gonna make us walk back and get some sort of power source, because this one's burnt out. If I had to guess... Oh, that'll do. Oh, okay. If we could go like now, that'd be great. That'd be great. That'd be great. Bye. Bye, you creepy creep. Don't jump down on me. That's what I want to see. Nice big door. All right, then. Well, I guess that's probably about a good place to stop then, isn't it, for our quick look at Doctor Who, The Edge of Time. Definitely a bit creepier than I thought. Wasn't expecting the creepiness, that's new. 
We lost our torch. We have lost our torch. How frustrating. Uh, yeah, control-wise, um, it's very slow movement. If it was more of a walking simulator game where you're supposed to take in your surroundings a lot more and enjoy it and it was relatively linear, that wouldn't be a problem because there are just a couple of small alternate paths which don't actually lead anywhere. They just loop back. I think having um, a slightly faster walker speed, at least as an option, would be a very good thing. And we're going slightly sideways now, are we? Yes, we are. Uh, and as well as that, just some of the, the grab mechanics just took me a little while to figure out exactly what it is it was expecting me to do. Hello? How have we ended up in space? As long as they're friendly. Hmm. Yeah, aside from those minor issues, though, very impressive. Looks pretty beautiful. Had, did, did, did a pretty good job of creating that creepy atmosphere in the uh, last place we went to, Lucia Minor. That was definitely a little bit creepy. Wasn't expecting that. Did a good job with that. Seems jam-packed with Doctor Who references and hints and tips and Easter eggs and the such like. A lot of which are going to be lost on me, but... They are there for the people in the know. I'm trying to figure out what we'd be doing next if we were carrying on, and I can't see anything. Apart from that box over there. Let's just see if we can open it. You come this far. Don't tell me you're stopping now. Nope, that's my PC. Okay, do we just use it on this? We do just use it on this. So yeah, so if you're a Doctor Who fan, this seems like a really, really interesting way to get into... Uh, oop. Get into a Doctor Who experience in VR. It seems really interesting. Soon there's a, seems like there's a fair bit going on. See, those physics are quite good. Those uh, weightless physics, that's nice. See, that's beautiful. No window on the other side. Doesn't look like I can get in there, does it? No. Cool. Yeah, it seems really awesome. If you are interested in checking out, as always, all the links are down below. Otherwise, massive thank you to Ian from Maze Theory for, uh, again, getting in touch and sending me a key to the game. That is really, really appreciated, as it always is, of course. And of course, do let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see a little bit more. I think the game's about two and a half hours from, uh, from the links I was looking at just now. So it's not huge. If you would like to see a bit more, if you are a Doctor Who fan and you want to see me experience the rest of it, do like the video, do let me know down in the comments, hugely, hugely appreciated. Obviously you can subscribe as well if you've not subscribed to the channel so far, that would be pretty awesome. And you can also hit that little bell button for notifications as well. Otherwise, I will see you next time, maybe in some other magical VR adventure, or maybe in Doctor Who Edge of Time. And don't forget, I do stream on Wednesdays at 6pm as well, so maybe I'll see you there. Otherwise, thank you very much for joining me.